Welcome! In this video, you'll learn how to use customizable rollups to calculate donor statistics in the Nonprofit Success Pack, or NPSP. First, we'll do an overview of what customizable rollups are, and then we'll show you how to set them up. 1. What are customizable rollups, and why are they important? 2. Overview of customizable rollups. 3. How to set up customizable rollups. Before we get started, please note that Salesforce offers both an integrated platform solution and a managed package for nonprofit fundraising. This video covers features in NPSP, a managed package product that is different from Nonprofit Cloud, which is an integrated platform solution. If you're not sure which product you're using, check that NPSP is listed as the app name or check with your Salesforce admin. Let's discuss what are customizable rollups and why are they important. Rollups are custom fields that display information from other related records, including aggregate totals. To think of this another way, rollup fields allow information from opportunities or payments to automatically roll up and appear on a related account, contact, general accounting unit, or recurring donation records. NPSP comes with approximately 87 of these fields out of the box. Fields such as total gifts, average gift, and number of gifts last year are all examples of roll-up fields. Roll-ups help us get a quick look at how we are progressing towards our fundraising goals. NPSP customizable roll-ups give us the ability to modify out-of-the-box NPSP default roll-ups and create new ones. To get to the customizable roll-ups page, Go to the NPSP Settings tab and select Donations Customizable Rollups. Once enabled, we can select Configure Customizable Rollups. This page lists all of the NPSP default and custom rollups in one place. There are two key parts to customizable rollups filter groups and the rollups themselves. A filter group is a collection of filter rules that determine which records get rolled up. Once you set the group, then you can pull data from that group into any rollup. Here we can see an NPSP filter group called Opportunities 1 Hard Credit. This group pulls together data from all Opportunities 1 for hard credit rollups. You can see that there are two filter rules within this group, and there are 36 rollups that already use this group. The first rule in the group says to pull in all opportunities or donations where the amount does not equal zero. The second rule says to pull together all opportunities or donations that are one. Below, you can see all of the rollups that use this filter group. Now let's look at a rollup that uses this filter group. In this out of the box example, we are looking at the average gift given by an account. This could be an organization account or a household account. The target object where we will want to see this information is the account. The target field is set to average gift. The target field determines what operations are available. Since this target field is a currency field, these are the various operations we can choose from. We have chosen the operation to be average, and the time frame to be all time since we want to see the average gift from this account from all time. The roll-up type determines whether or not this information should be treated as a hard or soft credit. For more information about hard and soft credits, please check out the trailhead resources linked below. Lastly, we can set the filter group which we discussed earlier. Let's walk through an example of how to create a new customizable roll-up from start to finish. Let's say we work at a food bank that wants to be able to quickly see on an account record how many in-kind donations it's received from partner organizations. We'll first need to create a target field for total in-kind gifts because it's not included in NPSP. Then we can create the filter group and roll up. Okay, we've gone ahead and created a new currency field on the account record called total in-kind gifts. Now, we'll navigate to NPSP settings tab and head to the customizable rollups page and select Donations, Customizable Rollups. Then we will view filter groups. While we do have a filter group for hard credits, it's not tailored specifically to in-kind gifts. So let's create a new filter group. 
we'll give the group a name following the naming convention of the existing filter groups. We'll add a description, and then we'll add two rules. First, we want all donations where the donations1 field equals true. Then, we want all donations where the donation record type field equals in kind gift. Now let's make the rollup. Select Customizable Rollup and New Rollup. We'll choose the target object and the field. We're using a count object and the new field we created, Total In Kind Gifts. We'll set a description and the operation. We want a sum of the opportunities for all time. The rollup type defines which object and hard or soft credits we want to include. We want to set it as opportunity, account, hard credit. And now we will choose the filter group we just created, one HC in kind account. This last section, advanced customization, prompts us to define any other relevant fields. For example, we need to choose which amount field to sum. For more information, these options are explained in the documentation. Now that the rollup is configured, it will update automatically overnight. But let's push it to calculate immediately. If you go to NPSP settings, bulk data processes, rollup donations batch, select run. Then, if you look at the account record, you'll see that the rollup field is summarizing all opportunities related to the in kind gifts. It's important to be mindful about the filter groups you're using and how you're counting your donations. For example, if you're using the Ops1 HC filter group in addition to this one HC in-kind account, it could result in double counting. In some cases, you may want to ensure your Ops1 HC filter group excludes any in-kind records. That's it. You've just learned the basics of creating customizable rollups in NPSP. For more information and detailed instructions, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Also, we'd like to give a big thanks to SFDO Commons and the nonprofit Salesforce How-To Series for laying the groundwork for this video. Thanks for watching.